Today on LigonierTV.com, we'll be visiting American Indian Jewelry, located right here on the Ligonier Diamonds. Standing with me are Sam and Carol Matthews, owners of American Indian Jewelry. Hi, how are you both? Fine, fine. Carol, can you tell us about the place? Well, we started in business 1970. We did mall shows for 20 years. My brother took one week and I took another week and uh, we turned a hobby into something we really like to do. That sounds great. Now I hear that you do a lot of shopping out west also. Can you tell us about that? Oh yeah, we go out every March and we, uh, we have certain Navajo and Zuni friends out there we buy off of and we go up to Farmington and Four Corners. Sam, can you tell us about some of your unique items in the store? Yeah, we have a lot of the Native American artwork. We have some over there by Yazi, and we have an Andrew Warren Mandala. He's a well-known artist. He does things for the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Europeans and a lot of the movie stars. He does one of a kind. And we have a lot of Kachina dolls. They're all, we have Navajo, Zuni, and Hopi. This is a Hopi Kachina doll. This is the Eagle Dancer. That's one of the most famous. And uh, as I said, that's all hand carved out of one piece of wood. The Hopis will ca carve their Kachina dolls out of one piece of wood. The Navajo is something like this, and they and they carve the piece and put them into pieces, like this part of the arm they carve, then this part, then this little thing they car carve. As that's the difference in their Kachinas. The Hopis are known for their Kachina dolls. Here's a fetish pot. This is a little hole right here where the fetishes will climb out of here and they'll protect you all night long. You can see all the fetishes around. A fetish is a hand cut carved. And we have a little Navajo man that does our carving. This is some of the things that the Native Americans believe in. And the same thing with the Kachina dolls. They're supposed to come alive. Sometimes you have a Kachina doll, it will be turned the other way. But they protect you during the night. We have a lot of the pottery. We have Santa Clara, Sal Defonso, a lot of the horsehair pottery, the Navajo. And we've got the old pieces that you can't get anymore. They're, they're called Old Pawn, and they're very heavy, very large. But if you go to the reservation, the ladies will be wearing these big necklaces with coins on and these kind of bracelets. We try to pick up odd things that other people do not have but we love what we're doing. We started as a hobby. Can you tell about these two pieces here? Okay, this has the real hair claw. A lot of them don't. And this is Effie Kalavasa. She does the snake. And she's teaching her grandchildren children how to do it now. The snake to the Native American is wisdom. And the bear claw is also power, strength. Anything with a bear paw or a bear claw, people are looking for it because they believe it gives them strength. And that's what the Native American believe. And the copper, is all made up in the Dakotas. It's machine made, but they're solid copper, and they're very good for arthritis. That's one of our best sellers, actually. And we even have the feathers for the hair. Some of my friends sent me some from out in Gallup. And interview Toto. And interview <laughs> Toto, because she's the boss. Hi, Toto. Actually, my brother and I know she's the boss. We have Native American made herbs. We have the Native American made tea. We have a lot of salsas and dips. We have to try and have something for everyone. Sam and I try to get so many different things that you can come in and look and come in an hour later and think we got some more. And we have even the China baby dolls. Now we only got three left. They're made by Native Americans. Now they're bringing them in from China. So the three we have is the last ones we'll have. We have storytellers. This one's done by Snowflake Flower. She does this and she always puts a feather and puts this feather with it because she had a daughter that was in an accident and she was in a coma for 17 years and she knew if she did this her daughter would become well again so 17 years later she did these and her daughter's fine today but there's babies on the back too so they, they hand their history down by storytellers will tell the children Carol and Sam, thank you very much for inviting us in your store and showing us around. Thank we you for coming. It. We hope we gave people a little bit of education, what the Native Americans like and what they believe in.
American Indian Jewelry, located right here on the Ligonier Diamond.